through cramped corners and the constant barrage of bullets, the war turned everyday people into heroes. Among the first Americans to enter the European campaign were crews piloting B-17 bombers. This was the backbone of those air forces. We'd blow you up, we'd soak you in oil, we set you on fire. Its members, many of whom had never seen a plane before, were exposed to unthinkable conditions. See how well insulated the airplane is? The altitudes they typically fly at 40, 50 degrees below zero. There's nothing to protect you from the elements whatsoever. A journey East Texans are only getting a feel for. The B-17G aluminum overcast is one of the most well-preserved aircrafts from the war. Its rivets are the same ones nailed in nearly 80 years ago. Stepping inside, you'll see just how tight conditions were. And the ability for people to simply come inside and sit exactly where soldiers sat during the middle of World War II gives us some insight into what these men went through like operating a ball turret. You're in there, you're in a fetal position like this. Right. Your, your window's here, your hands are up here flying it, you know, and the guns are by your ears. Right. John Bodie helps pilot the bomber. He says the ability to step inside has helped veterans open up. It's brought back memories and they've started talking about things that happened to them with their children and their kids are 60 now. But they start talking to them and it would really give them some closure. They're time machines of aluminum and steel. Museums powered by American might.